Okay, so in today's video, we are interviewing Melon and Finn. Their most famous thing and how I found them was the Melon Be Smellin' series. Welcome back to Melon Be Smellin' and today Melon will be smelling a ciabatta roll. Make sure to check them out, like and subscribe, enjoy. We have some people saying that this collab is the collab they've always needed, so that's good, good to know. So I'm gonna go back and forth like with questions I have prepared and then let chat ask questions and just go back and forth. I'm gonna start with the basics. Where, oh, that was country, sorry. Whew, that was bad. Where did you get Melon and Finn? You know, you can keep the country. I like it natural. <laughs> We're from uh, Southern California. So is that where both, like you got both of them? Correct, correct. Finn, we got from a shelter, and then Melon, we got from a different shelter. So Ooh, good old rescues. Melon was originally surrendered by a previous owner. <gasps> Finn was just a, he was a little kitten. Where'd you get Kurt? He you know, is, right? he is a street cat, straight off the, the streets. Ain't that right, Kurt? Yo. How old is Melon and Finn, and then how old are you as well? Sure. So, my boy Finn over here, he's three. Uh, almost four. So Finn and Kurt are the same age. Oh, yeah. Melon's also three. Estimated three. Kurt was born October 25th is Kurt's birthday. So oh, he'll wow. be he'll be turning four then. Dang. The beans. Yeah, she got the little chicken leg right here. <laughs> okay, so wait. Someone in my chat asked something funny. Why does Finn go to the pooper when he smells some foods? I mean, he doesn't actually use the bathroom, though. He kind of just stands there for a second, and then he goes back up. It's kind of like his little safe space. See, I didn't know that. I was very confused when I read that, so I had to read that one real quick as well. Does Melon be smelling watermelons? We did watermelon in the second Melon be smelling. Yeah. Melon will be smelling a watermelon cube. Oh. Melon does not like what she be smelling. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay. So this is weird, but it just came to my head. So if Melon has smelt a melon, has Finn ever smelled a Finn? That's the thing. I'm trying to find something where I could do that, but I'm not sure what kind of Finn. Yeah, Someone in my chat just said buy a fish just for that video, I guess. Just buy a fish. I mean, I don't know, though. Okay. Someone said, why did you name them Finn and Melon? Because the most epic cat names are either after foods or the most random objects on the planet. Melon, right? Mm. We start listing off like different types of food, like ravioli, lasagna, um, carrot, apple, and then it just came up melon. And then she looked up. <laughs> oh, so, so melon chose her name. Okay, so funny if <laughs> her name was ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli. Give me the formula. Then that is uh, originally Riley's cat. I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly who she named it after but it was a movie character so My do you do you call her more malone or melon it depends on the mood you know what i'm saying so you got finn over here he got he's a man of many names he's finn finley finnegan he's so your four, son like, arise my son arise my son i kind of know this already but the people might not what made you post on social media I was never like the kind of guy to post on social media. Like it'd be like once or twice a year type beat. Uh, Riley had just gotten uh, surgery. So she was still a little loopy off all the little anesthetics. And homeboy over here, he loves some blueberry muffin. Oh my God, this guy will eat all the tops. Only the tops of the muffin and that's it. <laughs> so we're like, all right, let's give some to Melon. And Melon gagged at it. Oh, so this so this was the original gag. Yeah, the first gag was the blueberry muffin. And it Dang. was totally out of the blue, unexpected, caught us off guard. I don't know. I was just like, wow, melon be smelling. And then I was like, wow, that's kind of that's kind of catchy. So I made a video, the first one, the baby bell cheese, for my thirteen friends that I had on TikTok. And I woke up in the morning and I had. 20,000 followers or something like that. Good. Kind of that yeah. So I was like, well, if people like it, I'll keep making it. That's so. wild. Yeah. That's actually so funny, though, because I've never, that's what was most shocking to me is like melon gagging, because like I've never seen that before. Like I've never seen a cat just <laughs> straight up gag at something like that. Dude, yeah, that's wild. If Kurt did that, I'd probably be scared, honestly. I'd be like, oh, no. Yeah, but. I was scared at first, but we took melon to the vet, and her vet was like, no, she, there's nothing wrong with you. She's <laughs> So, she just don't like what she be smelling. That's it. Yeah. 
Hey, chill out. Someone said, now that I see other cats in here, I realize how lazy Kurt is. <laughs> hey, Kurt is just chilling, bro. Kurt just likes to chill. So should we do the live spelling now? Shall we? I mean, hey, I, you're the spelling master. I'm terrible at it. You let me know when you're ready, because I mean, all I'm going to do is just put it next to Kurt and let him smell it. <laughs> All right. Ew, we got the Fruit Loops. The Fruit Loops. I got the exact same box, just so people know it's legit, you know? Bro, Kurt's, oh, Kurt's wondering what's going on. Don't you worry about it, Kurt. You're just gonna you're just gonna give your verdict, that's all. Yo, what kind of colors should we do, though? We got a plethora of colors. Personally, I'm gonna do orange for Kurt. So we got green, we got red, we got blue. What are we feeling? Oh, we got the cats. They're ready. Look at that. Dang, they're actually ready right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I get to watch. I'm fanboying right now. Welcome, Bill. <laughs> and today, Melon will be smelling some Fruit Loops. Yes, come on, Melon. Oh, Melon's oh. liking what she be smelling. Let's freaking I'm go! Ben, it's your time to shine, my boy. Do we stand? Oh, oh. What are we thinking, Ooh. Finn? What are we thinking? Oh, oh. Hmm. Hmm. I think Finnegan thinks it's middling. Dang. Like, one more spell. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, that looks like a processing here to me. Is it Kurt's turn? All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it to Kurt now. I don't know. You're gonna have to be the judge. Okay. <laughs> All right, Kurt. Time to give your verdict, brother. What? Whoa! Ooh. I think Kurt liked that oh, one. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah 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 yeah! Yo, yeah. Kurt with the fruit loop. A hundred percent. He licked it. He licked it. Curtis prefers. This. Well, Curtis does prefer this. Yeah. He does like the orange fruit loop. He might be biased because it is orange. Please. Should we should we have him smell the a different color? <laughs> yeah, let's see if Curtis is only biased towards the orange ones. Wow. All right, Kurt. That's Represent. Crazy. Represent for him. Oh, he did oh. not like that one. <laughs> he did not like that one. He only liked the orange one. What are you oh, doing? Yeah. Oh, look, he wants another sniff. What if he threw up? <laughs> Kurt thinks it's dark. Oh, I don't know. Look at him. He's about to go in, oh, I think. Wait. Oh, yeah. Curtis prefer this. Curtis prefer this. Oh. Prefer this. All right, well, I mean, it was fun. I appreciate you yeah. coming on. Yeah, thanks for the invite. It was very yeah. fun. It was fun. I, uh, I love Melon and Finn. And uh, we will do we will do more stuff in the future, 100%. So y'all make sure, go show some love to Melon and Finn. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you coming on. Yeah, man, thanks. I really appreciate it. It was super fun. Yes, sir. All right, I'll see you, man.